Hello and welcome to Chicago, Illinois for the 2008 edition of the Chicago College All-Star Game. This year's matchup pits the defending champion, New York Giants, against this year's rookie class, featuring the likes of Jake Long, Matt Ryan, and Gerard Mayo. Will the Giants season start off on the right foot, or will this year's rookie class prove they are the real deal? The Giants would receive the opening kickoff, and on 2nd and 10, Eli Manning would find Plexico Burris to pick up the first. On 1st and 10, Manning would drop back to pass again and throw a strike to Brandon Jacobs, who'd carry his defender into a second and inches. Jacobs would then get the carry on second and inches and go straight up into the line, taking a shot but picking up the first. Two plays later on second and nine, Manning would look deep and find Amani Toomer on a streak to get inside the All-Star 35. The Giants would then return to the run game and Jacobs would go up the middle for four. He'd then get it again on second and take it left, picking up another four. On third down, they'd pitch it out to Jacobs, and he'd take a huge shot in the backfield to bring up fourth down. They'd line up for the field goal, but Gerard Mayo would come barreling right down Main Street and get in the way of the kick, keeping the Giants scoreless. The all-star offense would then come out, and on second and nine, Matt Ryan would find early Doucette heading towards the sideline line to pick up seven. On third and two, Darren McFadden would take his hand up up the middle for the first. Then on first and ten, he'd get it again up the middle, this time picking up about eight. Then after no gain on second, Ryan would again find Doucette, this time on a slant for the first. With the new set of downs, Ryan would utilize play action, and then look deep, finding tight end John Carlson to get down near the 10. Three plays later on third and four, Ryan would look towards the end zone and find Mario Manningham, but his ball placement would carry him out of bounds to bring up fourth down. Alexis Thurna would then do what the Giants could not and put this ball between the uprights. The All-Star defense would then come up with a stop, allowing McFadden to take this first down handoff to the left for four. Two plays later, faced with a third and five, Ryan would look left and find Deshaun Jackson for a good chunk of yards, but as he is getting tackled, he'd lose possession of the football and would be recovered by the Giants and returned inside the All-Star 35. On first down, Manning would look left and find Jacobs, who'd carry a defender forward for an eight-yard pickup. After no gain on second, a pitch would go out right to Jacobs, and he'd find his way between two blocks to get inside the red zone. Unfortunately, they'd quickly find themselves in a hole, and on 3rd and 10, Manning would look for a receiver. He'd completely miss Leotis McKelvin, who'd pick off the pass and carry it all the way back to the house to put the All-Stars up 10-0. The Giants' offense would now look to put that last play behind them, as Jacobs goes up the middle for 6. On 2nd and 4, Manning would look to pass, and he'd connect with Toomer over the middle for the 1st. Though they then find themselves in a 3rd and 11, but Manning would find Steve Smith over the middle, who then just barely squeaked the ball across the line for the first. With the new set of downs, Manning would find a wide open tumor on a curl to pick up another first. Manning would then drop back again, this time throwing underneath to Jeremy Shockey to pick up about five. On second down, he'd look to pass again, this time connecting with Jacobs, who'd get the first and then get down inside the red zone. Now with the first inside the red zone, Manning would look for six, hitting Burris, but he'd be stuffed at the one. And finally, on third and goal, Manning would hit Kevin Boss to get into the end zone for the score. The Giants' defense would then come up with a stop to give Manning back the ball with just under a minute and a half remaining, as he'd find Burris deep to get past midfield. Now past midfield, Manning would drop back and find a wide open Smith to get down inside the 30. The drive would then stall out, and with just over 30 seconds left in the half, Lawrence Sines would tie things up at 10. The All-Stars would receive the second half kickoff, as Jackson would catch it at about the 1. He'd start by taking it up the middle before electing to cut left, shaking off some tacklers before finally being tripped up just past midfield. On 1st and 10, Ryan would use play action before finding Manningham to get the All-Stars first. Two plays later on 2nd and 10, Ryan would throw over the middle to Jermichael Finley for 7. On 3rd and 3, McFadden would try to take the handoff outside to the left, but he'd be stopped well short of the 1st. Faced with the 4th, the All-Stars would put this field goal through the uprights to reclaim a tentative 3-point lead. Their defense, however, would get them the ball back near midfield, and on 2nd and 7, Ryan would capitalize, finding Carlson over the middle for the 1st. With the new set of downs, the All-Stars would fall back to a play-action play they used their last drive, and again Ryan would connect with Manningham to pick up a 1st. Their offense would again stall though, leading to this field goal to take a 6 point lead. Their defense would then come up huge again, and Ryan would find Earl Bennett on a comeback to already get past the Giants 40. With the new set of downs, Ryan would again fall back to play action, before then finding an open Carlson deep to get inside the Giants red zone. 
They would then run some clock before finally putting this field goal through with just over two minutes remaining to go up nine. Though the Giants would be able to tack on a field goal in the last two minutes, it'd be far too late, as they fall to the All-Stars, 19-13. Thank you all for watching this edition of the Chicago College All-Star Game. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. Comment pretty much anything and everything in the comment section below. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Bye.